The holiday season is really just around the corner, and before you know it, all of us are going to be pulling up to the Thanksgiving table, enjoying the Christmas season, and like all seasons of the year, you want to look and feel your best. So we're going to give you some words of encouragement this morning because we are back at Infinite Health Centers in Cleveland talking to one of, one of Dr. Tim DeRusse's clients and now friends, Stephanie Renner. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you. So congratulations, first of all. <laughs> Thank there you. There are a lot of people watching who are going to think, what? She looks so good. What do you mean she's lost weight? How much have you lost? I've lost 46.8 pounds. And you told me you still are going to work towards some more? Yes. Um, I didn't quite get where I wanted to get in the beginning of the, or to, before we completed the program, I should say. But yeah. So we talked about it and what I need to do to keep going to get a little bit farther down. So very often, by the way, you've lost that weight in six months time. Yep. And we will talk a little bit about the journey and what it was like for you. But often when you're going to be on TV, you think, what am I going to wear? <laughs> you knew right away what you were going to wear this morning. Talk about the story behind your jeans. <laughs> My jeans, I have had these jeans for so many years. I think I got them in like 2004 or something. Um, they were my favorite jeans back then. And they were, I didn't wear them a lot because I saved them for special occasions so they didn't get wore out, right? And then I got to where I couldn't wear them anymore. They were too small and they were too small for years. And so when, I, when it was my scheduled day to, to finish the program, I thought, let me try them on. I hadn't tried them on. I purposely waited because I didn't want to get disappointed in the middle of it. Right. And so I tried them on and they pulled right on. Um, they were actually maybe a little bit big. <laughs> so I, it actually brought tears to my eyes that morning. I thought, I never thought I'd get in these jeans, but I thought I'm going to save them and see if I ever do. Right. And I think all of us either have or have had that pair of jeans in our closet, <laughs> probably men and women. But it, because as you go through a struggle with your weight, part of what you miss, if you will, is a feeling like you, you miss your old self. Yeah. Is that what you went through? Definitely. I, I knew whenever I, when I found this program, I knew that I needed to do something. I didn't like the way I felt, didn't like the way I, why I looked. Um, I knew I had to make a change. Mm-hmm. I've talked, I don't want to pry too much into your life, but you're here. Yeah, that's what um, I'm here for. <laughs> I've talked to people with Tim's practice before, and they've had different reasons that brought them to him and different struggles. Uh, sometimes it's been maybe a, a, they've had a difficulty in their life and food has become their friend. Sometimes there's been a health worry that brought them to him. What was it that brought you to him and had you struggled for a long time with that weight? You mentioned years. Well, my whole adult life, I've pretty much had to kind of be conscious of my weight. Mm -hmm. um, but I had gotten the biggest that I'd ever gotten um, this past winter. And, you know, I ride horses. It was hard for me to get on and off my horse. Mm -hmm. it w and I, that was bad enough. But I knew that I had to make changes. My, you know, like I said, I didn't feel good either. I had lots of just, just pains and aches and whatever. I just couldn't That would move. come with it, right? I That's couldn't even paint my toenails. Right. <laughs> That's a big motivator right so, there. <laughs> but another thing that happened to you, you talk about the um, like medical scares or whatever. My yeah. mom was actually diagnosed with breast cancer a couple of weeks before I found this program. And it was just one of those, another one of those times. It was just like that last thing to push me mm -hmm. into you know what, I need to get healthy. Not just lose weight, but I need to get healthy. So you, you talked about a couple of things with me, and we've been chatting a little bit off camera too, but you talked about the program, right? Mm -hmm. And that you didn't dare put your jeans on <laughs> midway through for fear that you might not like what you saw and it might disappoint you or something. You were a rule follower with this yeah. program, but what does the program look like? For anybody watching and thinking, I want to do it, how stringent is it? Was the power in the fact that you finally learned how to eat for you? Yes. You know, there's been times when I've looked at other programs in the past and I thought, there's no way that I can do that. And I, and I can't do it. I'm not even going to try. But when you get to a point where it's like, I got to do something. So when I came in here and I got the book and I got all my instructions and all, and I learned this is all about eating healthy to, you know, not just, and it, the losing weight is truly just a bonus. You mm. feel good. You know, you eat foods that are good for you, that nourish your body. You're not restricted on, um, you're never going to have this. It, I mean, you are, but not like, 
like like a traditional diet. Well, okay, it's not like point, a traditional diet. You told me that you celebrated your birthday, <laughs> and you wanted a birthday cake, and you called Tim, and you said, "I'm not going to do it," and he said, "No, you should have a birthday cake." <laughs> but he gave you a healthy way to have it, and yep. it was good. It was actually surprisingly good, and maybe that's because I hadn't had anything like that in so long. But it was also the the other people that ate it that had been eating like that all along. The other people that celebrated my birthday with me were like, this is actually really good. Mm -hmm. So, that so you the take, food is good. You take the mental component mm -hmm. and combine it with the physical, because if you're completely restricted in your life, that becomes a mental block. Yep. You don't have Absolutely. that mental block here. I don't. You also told me that you were so desperate to lose the weight that if you had not found him, you would have done something even unhealthy just to get the weight off. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm really disappointed to know that I that I that I had thought that way, especially now how I feel and how I and and what I have been able to do healthy. So when you came to see him, because I've heard this from people, I was shopping recently in Chattanooga, and someone came up to me and said, "Hey, I saw him on the show, and I wanted to let you know I called him a lot." And they're all different walks of life mm -hmm. that walk through these doors. So when you came and you met with him, what was your first impression? Do you remember? Um. I was I was a little bit nervous to to try this and I was nervous because I thought I don't know if I'll be able to stick to it. I don't know if those urges to eat the things that I shouldn't eat are going to like I didn't want to disappoint me or him. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought I got to think about this, you know. But it didn't take me long to think about it. So 6 months, almost 50 pounds. You're riding your horses with ease now? I'm riding my horses like I haven't ridden them in a long time. I feel like I can ride again. <laughs> and you wore closed-toed shoes, so I can't see your toes. No, that's because it's kind of chilly outside. But that's you all. paint them with abandon now if you <laughs> want to. I can paint my own toenails now. <laughs> well, you look great. And thanks for sharing your story with us this morning. And I bet you're going to have you. a great holiday I'm excited season. to share my story. It's, it's, if anybody is thinking about doing it and not sure, don't hesitate. It's been the best decision that I've made for myself in a long time. Congratulations. <laughs> Here's the phone number if you want to call. The website is drtimderoos.com. They do have a, a new phone number, so it's 380-1082. And she was stalwart, didn't want you to see her cry, but those tears are still kind of coming down. Congratulations. Thank you.